Okay. Yes. Welcome to my video. In this video, I want to illustrate how to use the Spiegelella scope to determine tree diameter, to measure tree diameters. Now, if you look through the, if you look into the Rella scope, after this series of scales that are used for, after the scale that is used for the 20 meter uh, height measurement, that's 20 meter scale. The next set of bars you will see there are for measuring diameter. There is a big white band, and you have on that big white band one, 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 one written all along vertically that way. That means one relascope unit. That is one relascope unit. That big bar is a one is one relascope unit. Following that big bar. You now have narrow strips, also uh, vertical strips, black, white, black, white. Four of them. Each of those is one quarter of a relascope unit. So each of those four is one quarter of that big band. So those are the bands you use to measure the diameter of a tree. So what to do to measure diameter at any point along this stem height? is you align the left side of that uh, relascope, so that uh, scale, the band where you have one, 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 the vertical band where you have one, 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 one written. You align the left of it, the leftmost portion of it, to the left side of the tree at the point for which you want to determine diameter. And you now see how many of those relascope units that tree occupies if it occupies just that big band that big white band of course if your distance to the tree is 20 meters if you are 20 meters distance to the tree because that's the standard meter you stand of course you can stand at 10 you can stand at any other one if you do the proper conversion if you are standing at 20 meter position to the tree and your tree occupies just that big white band, the diameter of that tree is 40 centimeters. It is possible it may occupy that big white band and one of the narrow strips after it. Each of those narrow strips is 10, 10 centimeters if you are standing at a distance of 20 meters from the tree. Don't forget, at a distance of 20 meters to the tree, each of them will be 10, 10 centimeters. So, if it occupies everything, both the big band and all the four small, small bands, that means the diameter at that point is 80 centimeters. Because 40 plus 10, 10, 10, 10, that will be 80 centimeters. It is possible to encounter a tree that is bigger than or wider than all the bands, both the big band and the quarter bands. When you encounter that situation, you have two options. First, it means you have to increase your distance to the tree. So you move further back, determine that distance. Either you go to 40 meter distance, if it's such a very big tree, and when you stand at 40 meter distance, it means you are standing at a distance twice the standard distance. So whatever reading you get, you have to multiply it by two. That's the standard practice. The alternative to do is to gauge where the, what part of the tree the relascope units hence, and then move the relascope such that the left side of the band will start from where it ended initially. So you know you have already encountered 80 centimeters and then you want to see what portion is left. So that's where, of course, I will illustrate this more uh, on a board so that you can really understand what this is. But essentially that is how to use the relascope to determine the diameter of trees at any point along the tree height. Uh, that's all I want to say about 
measuring diameter using the Spigorella scope. Thank you for tuning in.